Hi, this is Dr. Marty Rossman for The Healing Mind. And I want to talk to you today about why muscle relaxation is the second key to calmness, um, the second of the three elements uh, that I call the three keys to calmness as um, one of the simplest and most effective ways to uh, reduce your anxiety and stress and move towards calmness and uh, enjoyment of life. So muscles are the bulk of your body weight, um, very important structures that we often take for granted. Um, they make us mobile. They help us get around. They help us manipulate objects. They, Everything that we can uh, act on directly and personally in the world, in a sense, we do through the use of our muscles, which move our joints and our bones and allow us to use our bodies as tools to um, to survive and manage and uh, and change our environment. So they're very, very important uh, organ system, uh, the musculoskeletal system. So um, muscles can basically only do two things. They can tense or they can relax. They get shorter or they get longer. Um, and the way they do that is very interesting, but but that's pretty much all they can do. They they you could say that they stay the same actually, and muscle tone, uh, which is sort of the resting length of the muscle, is very important in maintaining our posture, whether we're sitting or standing or running or walking or doing any of the things that we do through the day. So they can stay the same, they can shorten and contract, they can lengthen and relax. We're all very good at tensing our muscles, we're all very good at making them shorter. We do that instinctually, we have to do that uh, in order to move. And when one muscle tenses, the opposite muscles, like if you straighten your arm, the muscles here on the back of your arm shorten, and these muscles here have to lengthen to allow the movement. Again, if you flex your arm, your bicep uh, shortens and your triceps lengthen. So the muscles work in pairs, shortening and lengthening. That's that's run on a very deep unconscious level of the nervous system. Um, of course, we can learn how to use our muscles better by exercising or practicing a skill, uh, whether it be dancing or tap dancing, a sport, hitting a baseball, uh, all of the things that we learn how to do, doing surgery, fine motor skills, we train our muscles through our nervous system to do these pretty remarkable kinds of things. But we all have a certain resting muscle tone and it tends to often be excessive so that we tend to hold more tension than we need to hold. And what I want to talk to you about today is how to allow those muscles to relax when you don't need them to be tight. Because when they relax, it improves the blood flow to the muscles. They can wash away waste products of metabolism. They can repair themselves. Uh, it helps your body go into a more deeply relaxed state. So learning how to relax the muscles is an important skill. Uh, we talked about the breathing, learning how to breathe in a certain way as the first key to calmness, relaxing the muscles uh, in my book is the second. Um, this has an interesting history. Of course, uh, the yogis have been teaching muscle relaxation for thousands of years. In modern medicine, um, I go back to a physician named Edmund Jacobson, who I believe was a rheumatologist. He was an MD at the University of Chicago. And he wrote a book uh, in the mid-1930s called You Must Relax. It's kind of an uptight title for a book about relaxation, but you get the picture. And he wrote a lot about how tense people were, how nervous people were, how much tension modern life brought on. Brought on. He taught about this as early as 1908 at Harvard Medical School. And it's interesting to read some of his descriptions because he talks about uh, 
the tension of the modern world at his time with the advent of faster trains and um, and automobiles and things like that. Uh, little could he imagine the pace of life now with instantaneous, never-ending information coming in on, uh, on your media 24-7, unless you learn how to use the off switch, which is uh, a big part of what you need to learn to do in order to manage your stress. But Jacobson did some early, some interesting things. He was one of the earliest uh, researchers of a device called the electromyograph, which was a device that attached electrodes to muscles and could measure the amount of muscle firing, the amount of muscle tension. We use those devices now in biofeedback to give people feedback about how tense the muscles are and when the muscles are relaxing as we learn how to relax them. But he did a lot of testing with that, and he even used it as one of the earliest biofeedback devices to help people see what tensed their muscles and what helped them relax. So uh, he had a very... Um, strict, relatively complicated way of telling, teaching people to relax, um, often involving tensing the muscles and then letting them relax, which is a good way. And many people find that that's, that that's uh, helpful. But for many people, I find that it's easier than that to relax because your muscles like to relax. They're not, they're not against relaxing at all. They're just so often in modern life prepared to do battle because of our tendency to live in this um, constant fight or flight response, this constant state of arousal and uh, worry and concern and ready to, to do battle, that the muscles don't relax and they don't let themselves balance and repair and um, and heal themselves. For many people, you don't need biofeedback. You don't need tense and relax. There's nothing wrong with those things. But for many people, I find that if you just have them pay attention to a muscle group, um, I generally teach people to pay attention to their feet or even one foot, like the right foot. You can do that now. With, just notice your right foot. Just pay attention to your right foot and notice how it feels and notice if there's any tension that you feel there or not. And then see what happens if you just invite your right foot to kind of soften and relax and let go of any tension it might have. And just notice if you get a little subtle sensation there of the foot softening and opening and maybe tingling or maybe subtler than that of just, oh, I didn't even know that that tension was there. And so I teach a very abbreviated form of Jacobson's, he called it progressive muscular relaxation. And that is a technique of simply going through the body, either from the bottom up or the top down, doesn't matter. I like to start at the bottom um, and paying attention to the right foot, paying attention to the left foot, the left, the right shin, shin and calf muscles, the left shin and calf muscles, the right knee, the left knee, going up through the body, picking out groups of muscles, paying attention, noticing whether there's tension, inviting them to relax, letting them relax. Um, if you've ever listened to or if you take the opportunity to listen to uh, my my guided imagery or body scan guided imageries. Um, we take a lot of time just giving permission and encouragement to just let that part relax in its own way without worrying about how quickly or deeply it relaxes. Just let it relax and just notice how that feels. And usually by the time you get to the top of your head, you're feeling pretty relaxed uh, in your body. And again, it's another way of helping your body shift from that alarm state, that prepare to do battle state, toward the rest and digest, the uh, 
paint up, clean up, fix up state, I like to call it, where the body can repair itself, recharge itself, renew itself, get a break from constant stress and reduce your anxiety. So um, there are a lot of ways to do this. In yoga, they call they, they have a pose they call uh, shavasana or corpse pose, where you're just laying on your back without moving, and again you're breathing into the different body parts, or just inviting the different body parts to relax, and you just take a few minutes there. It's very peaceful, very relaxing, very calming, and that's why I use it as. Uh, the second key to calmness. You can find my Three Keys to Calmness online course at uh, at thehealingmind.org, along with uh, my stress relief, anxiety relief course that all teach this basic method that I like to call the Three Keys to Calmness. It'll teach you three different ways to relax your body and mind, uh, which is often and almost always the first and one of the most important steps in healing yourself. This is Dr. Marty Rossman wishing you less stress, more happiness. Thanks for listening.